Hi, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally sharing with you guys another Dollar Tree walkthrough and haul. The first thing that caught my eye were these two bottles. One says collagen with vitamin C and biotin, and the other one says nail strengthener with gelatin plus calcium and magnesium. The brand is Golden Leaf, and I had never seen these at my Dollar Tree. Have you guys tried these? Let me know in the comments below. Then I saw this red package that says Spa April Bath and Shower. It has an under eye mask and a lip mask. At first I thought these were reusable, but when I flipped over the package I noticed that it says for one time use only. Another new to me item are these Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balms. It says they're moisturizing cherry and shea butter. The package comes with two lip balms. In this white box that says build your own mini facial, I found three little boxes. The first one says facial brush, the second one polishing cloth, and the third one is a massager. At the end of the aisle, I found this big display with the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes and they had quite a few to select from. Another item I hadn't seen before is this LA Colors Beauty Pot. It has three pops of color in one pop and they're eyeshadows. At my Dollar Tree, I found four different varieties. They all look so pretty. From the same brand, I found these really pretty lashes. And Sassy and Chic has these eyebrow stencils. This wax pencil from the e.l.f. brand is new to me. I had never seen it before and I'm assuming it's to shape and keep your eyebrows in place. And there were a couple more options of these 3D faux mink lashes from the Ioni brand. I also saw some from Wet n Wild and these flower lipsticks. They're so pretty. And next to those, I saw the e.l.f. ones, which I've seen before, but these are brighter shades. And look at the cute packaging of this lip balm. It's from LA Colors and it's grape scented. They had it in this mint green too, and I guess this one is mint scented. This is a brand I hadn't seen in a long time. It's Max Factor. I wasn't even sure that they were still around, but this one says it's a long lasting lip tint. And they had a few color options to choose from. These are the Beauty Benefits foundation powders. And next to those, they have the Beauty Benefits highlighting illuminators. There's two in the package. They also had a brow kit and a mascara, which I hadn't seen before. Even though I really love the Shop Miss A matte top coat I bought, I still look at Dollar Tree every time I go to see if I can find the Wet n Wild one. They didn't have it at this Dollar Tree either. But I did find a lot of these pink boxes that had two Julie G nail polishes inside. They didn't really have a lot of different colors to choose from, but I was more interested in the top coats. This one has a matte top coat and their base coat. Now I'll show you what I actually bought. I'll start with these satin pillowcases. They're from the Home Collection brand and they're 20 by 30 inches. You get one pillowcase in each package, so I bought two of them. When I opened them up, I realized that the quality is really not the best, but for $1, you really can't expect much. The reason why I got these is because I've heard a lot of good things about how it's supposed to be a lot better for your skin and for your hair to sleep on this type of material. But after washing them, I tried them out for a couple of nights and I felt strange because I'm not used to the material. So when I put on my moisturizer, since I sleep with my face on my pillow, it just felt strange, like it was sticky. So I just went back to using my regular pillowcases. I picked up these dog nail clippers because the spring in the one we've been using went bad. Since these weren't sharp enough, my husband was able to just use the spring from this one and replace the old one. This mini waste basket is for my nail desk. I'll put a plastic bag in it to line it and then I'll have it ready to use whenever I'm doing my nails. Last time I shared with you guys that I found one of these boxes but it was a chocolate cake and this time I picked out a traditional yellow cake so hopefully it'll be just as good as a chocolate one. A bag of these now and later flavor changers. These are called morphs. These are the flavors that are included in this bag and they look really yummy. I've heard good things about this LA Color setting spray so I wanted to try it out. It's a really small bottle but We'll see how well it works for me. Set your makeup on the go. Perfect for travel. It says clear up here. I don't know if they have other ones that aren't clear. Makeup setting spray. After applying makeup, spray 12 to 16 inches away from face while keeping eyes closed. Let me know if you've tried this spray before. I started dyeing my gray hair again. I had stopped for a while and it was just, I got out of control and I really didn't like the way it looked. So I went ahead and dyed it and now I found this one at Dollar Tree for $1. I'm going to try it out and see because it's worth it. If it's $1 and it works, I think it's a good deal. They had other shades. I think they had a reddish brown shade and a black. This one says dark brown. 
hopefully it won't turn my grays reddish which is something i really don't like i like to have dark brown hair without the reddish in it because it just looks really strange when the gray starts to grow back out let's see what it includes there's information on the inside of the box and then you're supposed to add this cream base into this and shake it up they included a pair of gloves too not too bad for one dollar I also got this utility knife. This was in the hardware section where they have all the different tools. And this one says that it comes with two extra blades and you just use it until it's dull and then you break the, the tip off and then it has other sections until you run out and then you have two extra blades in here. It has instructions on the back. And I just bought this to keep it in a drawer in the kitchen so when we get boxes, we can just easily open them using this. It feels really cheap. It's hard to push this. Let's see how sharp it is. Oh yeah, it's really sharp. Another food item I found from the brand Better Made Special. It's these potato sticks. And this is the original. They had some other, I think it was sour cream and onion. But I wanted to try the original. It's the first time I'm trying these, so I'm, I'm hoping they're going to be really good. It has four ounces. And this one expires in 2021 so we're good these are the nutrition facts and the list of ingredients i really like putting these in pan con bife or steak sandwich they're really good i've seen a lot of people mention that they get their bread at dollar tree and i had never even thought about buying bread there but i saw these little mini crescent rolls and these are plain i really wanted to try them and see they smell really good it comes with 10 inside this bag and it was only one dollar so that's really good and they feel pretty good so i'm probably going to put these either in the toaster oven or in the microwave to soften them up and warm them up a little bit the brand is ellie's fresh look at this it's a product of canada that's cool this is actually an item that i've previously purchased and it's a great find it's two little small pump bottles this one and they're spray bottles this is two fluid ounces each and it comes with two in the bag. They both have a little lid and they work really well. When this whole pandemic thing started, we filled ours up with hand sanitizer and you could carry it in your purse and with you and just spray whenever you needed it. So they're really convenient for different things, but it's in the part of the crafter square section or the aisle where they have all the crafting supplies. That's where I usually find it in my local Dollar Trees. And lastly, I bought these two little boxes that come with two different polishes each. The brand is Julie G and I had actually never heard of this brand before, but I really, I've been looking for a matte top coat as I previously mentioned that I haven't been able to find the Wet n Wild matte top coat. So I thought this was a good one to try. This one comes with a base coat and a matte top coat. And this other one comes with their Jet Set Quick Dry Top Coat and their Gel Effect Plumping Top Coat. I don't remember if I got any footage while I was there of the other ones that I saw. They actually had different polished shades, but I was more interested in trying the top coat. So that's why I picked, I only picked these. All right, so this is what the bottle looks like. You can see how the bristles are spread out like that. Let's see. You can never have too many base coats or top coats. These are 0.35 fluid ounces. And for comparison, this is the one that I bought at the Shop Miss A website. This one says that it's 0.52 fluid ounces. And you can kind of see in this one also where it's kind of separated. So I have to be sure to shake it really well before I apply it. But look at the color difference. This one looks really yellowish compared to this one. And here we have the quick dry top coat and the gel effect plumping top coat. On my nails, I'm wearing this LA Colors Color Craze Polish. This one is number 541 and it's called Candy Sprinkles. I do have a top coat already applied, a shiny top coat, but I want to apply these three and see how they compare. So I'm going to start with the gel effect plumping top coat. I'll apply this one on the first nail. See, that looks really shiny. And let's apply the matte top coat. This one, I already shook it really well. So we're applying the matte top coat on the middle nail. Let's see if it changes. It looks a little streaky to me. Or maybe it disappears as it dries. Wow, but it looks really matte. Wow, I actually really like that. That's weird. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a white strip right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, on the top too. 
and I shook it really well so that it was really well mixed but look at these white strips that are showing up on the polish well on the last nail I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply this one which is a quick dry top coat let's see how it looks if you see any difference that looks really weird I've never seen that before I'm gonna try shaking it again and applying it on the pinky As it starts to dry, it looks really cool and you can definitely see it turning matte, but those white stripes totally ruined it. Or white streaks, I should say, because they're not stripes, it's like just streaky. Okay, so it looks like you just have to shake it. When you think it's all, you've already shaken it enough, you need to keep shaking it. Even if it gets bubbles in it, because I shook it so hard it got bubbles, air bubbles in it. And I guess what I would do in the future when I'm using this is just make sure that I shake it right before I apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it again. And let's apply it on the thumbnail. I don't see the streaks and I see that it's turning matte. Hopefully I was able to fix it by just shaking it really, really well. Let's see what happens if I apply it over this middle nail again. Okay, so I guess the white is not going anywhere. That's just funny how defined the, the streaks are. So the thumbnail and the pinky definitely turned out really, really good. And it definitely works as a mat. As long as you shake it, you'll be fine. As far as these go, yes, I recommend them because even though the matte top coat, it's not ideal that you have to shake it so much before applying it, but it definitely works and it makes the nail look really matte and really pretty. I really like the matte effect. And since you're getting two of them for a dollar, it's not bad. And then I'll, the both of the top coats, the quick dry top coat and the plumping, the jelly effect plumping, they both seemed good to me. And I'll have to try the base coat and see in a future manicure. But usually base coats, I don't have any issues with them, so it should be fine. But I'm really happy I found these there because you really can't beat that price. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching this quick Dollar Tree haul. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!